here this perp back with another video and i just got out of watching the crow this is the remake to the 90s crow movie and a lot of people weren't too happy with that and you know for me the crow is definitely one of those movies that i thought i watched when i was younger but i've only re remember like bits and pieces maybe one of these days i'll get around to checking it out so going into this i don't have any emotional attachments to the original and with that being said let's talk about this movie so this is starring bill skarsgård as our main lead eric and uh what's her name was it fka toothpicks i want to say toothpicks but i think it's like twigs or something like that i don't know um she's in this as the love interest this pretty much starts off as a love story um and you have these two characters um bill skarsgård's character eric that is in this rehab center that looks like a fucking jail and this is where he meets uh uh twig's character shelby and shelby you know she got herself into some mess where because her friend wants to record a specific video of this very powerful guy our main villain she is and she ends up putting herself in a lot of danger which i'm just like yo you should have told your friend to kind of delete this shit because now she is a pretty much a pack at this point she's gone and now they're after you and what kind of irritates me about this movie is you know she ends up you know running into some cops and she has all these drugs on her right keep that in mind drugs huge theme of this movie in the beginning so this is where shelby and eric's par uh, characters cross in this rehab center they're all wearing this pink it's a very bizarre rehab center right and you know it just is this kind of lovey-dovey love story where they escape rehab because there are these people after Shelby and instead of just you know getting out of Dodge getting out of town they want to just kind of stick a fuck around and just do a bunch of drugs and fuck fuck on each other you know what I'm saying that's pretty much their whole fucking relationship you don't really care about what they got going on I think the problem with this movie is they don't do a good job of making you actually care about um their relationship you know so when she does end up dying they show that in the trailer you know what i'm saying um this is where eric becomes the crow this vengeful spirit that you know brings him back to life in some type of way which the lore of the crow i vaguely know about but they kind of got the gist of it in this i don't think it was well executed it, it was just like hey oh your girlfriend died now you are in this like kind of supernatural realm where now you have this ability where you can't really die and this dude is pretty much trash you know nothing against bill because bill is a great actor in this he couldn't even really save this movie knowing that he's a very capable actor of doing so it's just the dialogue and the script and everything just doesn't really do him justice and once like it takes a really long time for him to become the crow i feel like it's like an hour before we actually get some crow action and when we do get the action it's like very few in between just it's it's very generic where like the bad guy in this he comes from pretty much hell and he's sacrificing all these different women to kind of stay alive it's just ah uh, it, it it's so boring it, i wish they could have done a little bit more with that um you could have really made this movie like an hour and 13 uh 30 minutes i should say overall when he is the crow it's cool like that whole scene in the uh opera that was cool there's some really cool kills you know what i'm saying it's entertaining at points and then for the most of the movie it's just kind of boring i even kind of dozed off 
somewhere in the middle you know what i'm saying even when he be, he realizes that he cannot be killed it still takes a long time for the thing to just the story to keep going and you know i think they could have cut the whole lovey dovey thing because it's like there's a lot of wasted runtime with that in the beginning and i could see people that are really a fan of like brandon lee as the crow just being completely turned off by this or just being disappointed or thinking that this is trash and i don't blame them. but i will say it's not the worst movie of the year you know what i'm saying i, I feel like there's quite a few other bad movies you know but when i watch this again probably absolutely not honestly will they get a sequel i don't know but it's just the the story is overall generic uh the dialogue is not that good the soundtrack is fucking trash bro like i i wish they would have had a better selection of songs at least yeah, but if you get around to checking this out, or if you've watched it already, you know what I'm saying, let me know what you guys think about it, and I probably are go am going to get around to watching the original Crow movies at some point in my life, you know, I might do that sooner than later, but yeah, this was just a hot pack of the mid, Till next time, I will see y'all in the next one, peace.